Did you know that it's really difficult for people living in Athens to get up early in the morning, like sunrise? That's because dawn is tough on Greece. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh my god, I, I love a good pun. Hey everybody, Nick from Nine Card TCG, and today, <laughs> Don stuff on Greece. Hey everybody, Nick from Nine Card TCG, and today we're gonna be talking about a little bit of news, and then we're gonna talk about a deck profile that I think I have been really, really tough on Dialga V Star, but now that we've seen this new card from the Pokemon Go set, I think that there's a i think it gets a lot better honestly i think it gets so so much better so before we get into the uh i guess the deck profile let's talk a little bit about news on pokemon.com there was uh an article that talks about some of the cards that are coming out in the pokemon go set and I mean, I just take a look at them real quick. Before we go, obvious spoiler for some of the cards and artwork that are going to be coming out in the Pokemon Go set. So if you're like trying to stay surprised, uh, maybe don't watch this, I guess. Or maybe skip to just the, the deck profile because we're going to show off two new cards there, I guess technically three. But yeah, uh, so keep that in mind, I suppose. So here we are on the Pokemon.com website and we get some information about the set that's coming out in on july 1st and we see this pikachu cool this very cool mewtwo v artwork i actually really do like this i know some people aren't a huge fan Galisapod with first impressions coming back and now we got some really awesome pokemon venusaur and charizard have some really good abilities venusaur flip a coin if heads Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active, and Charizard, for every fire energy attached to your fire Pokemon, it's now two fire energies, which is really cool. But the one we're going to focus on is Blastoise. And this Blastoise, the reason why I want to, to take a look at it is because it's going to be used in Dialga V-Star. And they, there you go. So I, we'll get a close-up of it, but we'll talk about it when we look at the deck profile as well. And then, of course, the official reveal of the Radiant Pokemon. We have one for Blastoise, Charizard, and Venusaur as well. And that's kind of all the information we got. So if you want to go and check this out and read a little bit more, it's there for you. But now, let's head over to the Pokegear app, where we can take a look at how we're going to be using this Blastoise, what it does, and why I think it works so well for Radiant... Di uh, for <laughs> why I think it works so well for uh, Origin Form Dialga V-Star. So you you have likely seen Dialga V Star uh, at some point. Dialga V Metal Coating attached two Metal Energies from your discard to this Pokemon. Um, it's okay. Temporal Rupture 180 for four. Whatever. We don't really care so much about the Fire Weakness because there's really not a ton of Fire in the format. Even though Grass has come back a tiny bit with the uh, introduction of Gardenia's Vigor, we don't really see a lot of fighting, which is good. Uh, a lot of fire, rather, which is good. Uh, and then, really, we're focused on the V-Star. 280 health, 3 retreat cost. Something worth noting. And then, Metal Blast does 40 damage for each... Uh, it does 40 more damage for each Metal Energy attached to this Pokemon. So, you're going to be doing quite a bit of damage as you start to get a lot of Metal Energies attached to this. And this is something that we kind of talked about uh, in the past. Anytime, like with Darkrai, when it does damage based on how many energies you have... You have to really keep an eye on how many energies you have and what your math is and what you're trying to hit. Star Kronos is the V-Star power, and this is an attack, not an ability, which is really good because it works even with Path to the Peak in play. And it does 220 damage for 4 metal and 1 colorless energy. And I know what you're thinking, Nick, that is so much energy, and you would be right most of the time. Right now, you're, you're, you might be a little wrong, but you use the power regardless of whether or not you take a KO, you take another turn after this one. So that means you can play like boss's orders, bring up a Crobat, bring up an Arceus V, do something, hit it with Star Kronos, 
and now it gets knocked out, you take another prize, and or you take two prizes ideally, and then you get to continue and take a full another turn. We do have a Luminion V and a Crobat V as support Pokemon because we need to find a supporter or draw some cards, and then we have the Squirtle and Wartortle coming in Pokemon Go, so we can evolve into this Vitality Spring Blastoise. Now, what does this do? 170 health is pretty good. Hydro Pump does 30 damage for each water energy, or it does 30 more damage, but we don't have any water energies. We're not using it for the attack. We're using it for the ability. Vitality Spring, once during your turn, search your deck for up to six energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. If you use this ability, your turn ends. Well, Star Chronos here takes five. So that means we can load up energies onto a Dialga, put an energy on something else. Maybe we want to be able to retreat whatever's in the active. Maybe we want to uh, start setting up a second attack or something like that. And you could have a random water energy so you can attack with uh, Luminion here. You could have a random dark energy so you can attack with Crobat. You can do whatever you want, really, as long as you have the energies and Blastoise supply. You can use this while you're on the bench and there you go. You get those energies to make the Star Chronos happen, to make big metal burst plays happen. Now, it does say your turn ends. And you might be wondering, okay, but if I load up a bunch of energies onto a Dialga, aren't they just, and my turn ends, aren't they just going to boss it up and KO it? No, they can't with Diancy as long as they have the, uh, why won't you? Thank you. Diancy with Princess's Curtain, as long as this Pokemon is in the active spot, whenever your opponent plays a supporter from their hand, prevent all effects of that card done to your benched basic Pokemon. Which means they can't technically Flannery and discard special energies, not that it matters because we don't run special energy, but they can't boss's orders your benched basic Pokemon. They could boss orders, orders your bench Blastoise so that they can take that out so you can't keep using Vitality Spring, but really, we just need to use it that one turn, uh, and then after that, we're kind of okay. They can't boss on Crobat, they can't boss on Luminion, or our Dialga V. Now, obviously, we can't evolve into the Dialga V star because it's no longer protected by Diancy's ability when we do, so we leave it as V, whatever. We just put Diancy into the active and load up energies onto a Dialga V using something like Bless, so our turn ends, but fine. We don't have to worry because Diancy, okay, they're fine. They play Escape Rope. They would have to have Escape Rope and Boss, and that's assuming you don't have more than one Diancy on the bench because if I was playing this, I probably would want more than one on the bench to prevent Escape Rope Boss plays because if you... Uh, only have one Diancy, they can play Escape Rope, now you send up the Blastoise, well, Princess's Curtain is no longer in effect, and now they can boss up your Dialga, and since you are not evolved, because you can't evolve in order to use Diancy's ability, you're so much more likely to get knocked out with 220 health. Uh, we do run a copy of Big Charm here, so that we can bring our V-Star up to 310, or our V up to 250, something like that, but you really don't want to rely on that Tool Scrapper or some Tool Jam or something like that can really ruin your day. The rest of the deck is kind of geared up just to make this happen. We have our own Escape Rope so we can get a Blastoise or a Dialga out of the active. We have Energy Recycler for when this thing gets knocked out, because eventually Pokemon do get knocked out. We're able to recover those energies, put them back into the deck, and then we can send up Diancy and use Blastoise to set up a second uh, Dialga and just kind of repeat it as we need. Evolution, Incense, Quick Ball, Ultra Ball are our Pokemon search, and Rare Candy is going to let us go from Squirtle to Blastoise immediately, skipping War Turtle altogether, even though I do incidentally love War Turtle. A couple of Air Balloons here so that we can move our Diancies, move our Crobats and whatever out of the active, act as free pivots. Boss's Orders, Marnie, Research, really, really common. We do have a copy of Crystal Cave so that we can heal damage off of our Dialgos so that we can kind of keep it around a little bit longer. We want to make it a little bit tanky. Since our damage is reliant on having so many energies attached to a single Dialga, we do not want it to get knocked out easily because then we have to recover all those energies, put them back onto a new Dialga in order to attack again. Not something you really want to do. And then we do have a copy of Temple of Sinnoh so we can shut down 
random special energy, double turbo energy, uh, single strike energy, rapid strike energy. Uh, technically, you shut down fusion strike energy. So there's really nothing in here that we need to do that for. So could you replace this with a path of the peak? Could you replace this with a second crystal cave or training court or get something totally different altogether? Absolutely, you could. I kind of like it. At least I like it in theory, but we'll see. And then we have 12 metal energies. And now there's a card that we skipped. And that is Irida. Irida here, which sounds like irrigate uh and irrigate water okay search attack for a water pokemon and an item card reveal it put it into your hand well we can use luminion to find irida and irida gets us blastoise and rare candy so that we can make this combo happen immediately technically as early as turn two if we go first and we have squirtle on the bench during our first turn Turn two, we air it up for a Blastoise and a Rare Candy, and now we are off to the races. We really want to be able to use Quick Ball and Ultra Ball and kind of prioritize getting a Diancie and a Squirtle into play almost more than a Dialga. And the reason is because we need Diancie so that we can prevent boss plays, and we need Squirtle to be able to evolve into Blastoise because we have to use Blastoise's ability, and our turn ends anyway, so there's no real rush to getting a Dialga on the bench because we can't evolve it immediately anyway. We have to evolve it the turn after we use Vitality Spring. So honestly, I would probably prioritize Diancies and Squirtles over Dialga that very first turn, but we have Quick Balls and Ultra Balls to make that happen. Um, I'm not obviously sure how well this will work in comparison to something like Magnazone or Zacian uh, Bronzong versions. I know, I know individuals who have played who are like, there are different ways to build this, but I, if I was going to play, I'd play Dialga, at least initially, this is how I would do it. Magnazone has a chance to miss. You can look at the top 12 cards of your deck and attach energy that you find there however you want, just like you kind of can with Blastoise. The difference is Magnazone only lets you go 12 cards and it's an ability and your turn doesn't end blastoise you guaranteed get up to six energies but your turn ends so we can use diancy to really not care if our turn ends we just do everything we want to do before we vitality spring and then we end our turn whatever following turn you know now we can start attacking with the v star the zacian bronzong kind of sets up the same way you use the intrepid sword put the energies onto your Pokemon, and then Metal transfer them with Bronzong over as you need, you have Metal Saucers, whatever. But either way, your turn ends there too with Intrepid Sword. So it's not even like you can get the cards. Uh, and Intrepid Sword only takes three. Yes, you draw all three, which is really, really nice. But I think this Blastoise has a lot of potential for this deck. I don't know how much it'll see outside of something like this. Uh, this kind of seems like at least at first glance, the, the the very... This is the first thing that came to mind for me was Dialga. I don't really know what else wants to play a stage two like this to get so many energies in play. Um, may, maybe like a Greninja Frostmoth box type thing. I, I don't really know. But yeah, this this is... this is I'm, I can't wait. July 1st. Pokemon Go set comes out. I'm excited because I do play Pokemon Go. I, I enjoy it. Uh, I won't say a ton. I enjoy it <laughs> as much as a person who plays Pokemon Go can, I suppose. But I'm excited. I'm going to start getting the cards to this together so that when Pokemon Go comes out, I am ready. And this might be the first deck I play with those new cards. But yeah, uh, why, don't we, uh, why don't we wrap this up? Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, found yourself a little informative. If you did, do me a favor, hit the like, subscribe, comment buttons. Those things tell YouTube this is a good channel and other people should watch it. If you're in the market for some TCG accessories, I have a Dragon Shield link in the video description. Check that out. Uh, and they're the only ones I use. And if you use that link, I get a kickback so I can make more and better videos for you guys. And uh, there's a link for channel member stuff. You can follow me on Twitter, join the Discord, all that kind of stuff, video description. That's going to do it for us today. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.